So, dear student, so today we'll be doing one sure shot question. It is seven mark question. So, with which most of us will skip during our engineering mathematics two exam. As you can see, this is the question. The table, correct? Woman, we see the Gauss Seidel iteration method. Yes, and they will be giving the entire thing. So, the table will be given. So, this boundaries can we can see right? Thousand, 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 two thousand. This U1, U2, U3, and U4 values won't be given in the question. The rest everything will be given. So, this is square. Okay, U1, U2, U3, U4 values won't be given, and we have to find out. And this is the most easiest question for us to get the seven mark. Much easier than any other chapter. Okay, fine. So we have to find the values of what? U1, U2, U3, U4. Four things. Correct? So for finding U1, so there are two methods in this. One is the diagonal methods. So just listen for two to three minutes and it will be very clear. Because I, as I told you, this is the most easiest chapter and it's well below our level. Okay. So it's the most easiest chapter. So just to tell you, there are two things to remember. One is the diagonal formula, other is the standard formula. Fine. So for finding the first one, let us take U1. I'll be using diagonal formula. So as I already told you, this is just like our, uh, I think we can tell, maybe the fifth standard student can also do it. Okay, only that level is there in this particular unit. So it is that easy. Okay, so anyway, let me draw it. So fine, for U1, I'll just add what? The diagonal. 1000, U4, 2000, and this 1000. And the formula is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 of what? 1000 plus 1000. This thousand plus thousand plus u4 and 2000. Since I don't know the value of u4, I'll assume u4 is equal to 0. u4 is equal to 0. So since you're seeing this problem or doing the problem first time, do not overthink. Okay, and don't think in the mind that, okay, why can't I take u2, 0, u3, 0. No. First, we have to see the process. Then once you're expert in this particular table, then you can think and do it on yourself. So this method is called diagonal method. Diagonal method. Okay. So I think you're clear with this. Fine. I'll just clear it. I'll just show you what has been done here. Let me just scroll down. Yes. So this is our first one. U1 is equal to 1 by 4 into whatever I told you, diagonal form. And I'll be getting one value. U4, I'll assume it as 0. Okay. It's fine. Second thing is what? U2. Once I finish U1, U2. So I told you there are two methods. One is my diagonal and second is my standard. Standard, which is, uh, standard method is much more easier compared to our uh, diagonal. So again, I told you this is just a fifth standard level question. So that's it. Well below our level. U2, just put like this, the values. In the sense, U2 right side is what? 500. So 500 plus up is what? 1000. Correct? And U4 down, that is 0. Plus U1 value, just now I got 1000. So 1 by 4 into 1000 plus 1000 plus 500 plus 0. That's it. I'll be getting U2. I'll be getting what? U2. I'll just show you this thing down. This is only my U2, the standard form. Then I'll come back to this and put the circle where it belongs. That's it. Yeah. Now coming to my U3. And these things. 2000 plus 2000 plus 500 plus U4 plus 1000. That's all. 1 by 4 into. This is my 0. So my U3 also I'll be getting. Very, very easy. U4 also same thing. 
add 0 plus u2 value how much are we got right when we did u2 that plus u3 plus 0 that's all so like that i will be getting my u4 so that's it so how, seven markers once we do all of these things at least we should get three to four marks and it's very very easy to get that three to four marks and for the remaining three marks we have to use the iteration method okay so once you do this u4 i'll be getting the answer here, as it is u1 u2 u3 u4 I'll, i have got the answer answer i'm not focused but i'm just focused only on the method so that should be done so if you are done with this 99 percent of the problem is over so we only have one percentage that is just for the calculation now Gauss will already be done in the matrix part the same thing we have to use it correct the same thing so write down first u1 u2 u3 u4 in the matrix Gauss will we have got what x y and z right Correct. We'll calculate for x, y, z. No. And we'll put the initial iteration x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. Same process we have to do it. But here the unknowns are u4, u1, u3, and u2. So that in the calculator you can take it as a, b, c, d or x, y, z, and m. There is x, y, m, and a. Something like that. For unknown variables you can take in the calculator. So once you're done with this, you frame the equation. Right? For the first iteration, how much of our values we got here in u1, u2, u3, u4? Put that as the first iteration value in this above equation. So u4 value is 375. So that I will substitute now in this. And I will be getting the first iteration value. Once you have got that thing, then this u1 value, new u1 value, you will put it in u2. u4 value is same. u4 value is same. Once you get u2, correct? Again, here u4 and u1 values say just this above one, u1 and u2. And u4 values u3 and u2. This u3 value, which we got new, that will substitute here. Second iteration, I'll be using what? The u1 value, the new u1 value. New u2 value, u3 value, and u4 value in the above equation. So, like that, we have to perform up to fourth iteration. That's all. Do not try showing all of these values in calculator. It's just a waste of time. So directly you can write third iteration, fourth iteration. That's it. You will be getting your seven marks with it. That's all. Thank you.